Well, well, my friends, look what I have here on the RC Workstation, the new Axial SCX-10 II Ultimate CRC. And I have to say, my friends, Axial did a great job at redoing the SCX-10 and making this a much better trail crawler. Well, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of the new SCX-10. So we have here on the box, we got uh, waterproof electronics, 2.4 gigahertz system. We have the new AR44 high pinion axles. And then we got this sweet 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon body. Also got some really cool tires. We got the Nitto Trail Grabber MT uh, and with the uh, 1.9 KWC wheels. Now uh, here on the side of the box, we'll take a look at some of the other features. If I can get the box to turn. All right, <laughs> there we go. So, features, and I get the camera to zoom. All right, so we have a Tactic TSX45 metal gear servo, 151 ounces of torque, water resistant. We also have a 35T brush electric motor, water resistant as well. Then we have a Tactic uh, TTX300 three channel receiver, which is really nice because that way you can run your uh, lights or like a, uh, a, a winch on there. As you see, the re, uh, three channel receiver, you got a waterproof re, uh, box, re receiver, <laughs> receiver box. <laughs> All right, down here we got adjustable coil shocks. And uh, then we have the w WB8 HD wild board dry shafts, and then we got the adjustable battery tray if my camera will focus. And then we have the AE5L ESC with drag brake, and then we got the six LED lights. Here's the uh, Nitto 1.9 Nitto Trail Grabber MT Tires S30. So that's pretty awesome. Also, four wheel drive, of course, one tenth scale. And it's got an adjustable uh, wheelbase. So the truck comes in as a 12.3, uh, but you can adjust it down from a 11.4, uh, 12.0, and 12.3. Uh, so that's pretty awesome that they give you the option of actually doing that. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, here's the other side of the box. Here's some of the other features of the SCX-10. So we got uh, realistic... Uh, transmission case, uh, we got the AX10 transmission, the dual slipper clutch, a lot of the scale parts for the Jeep to you know get that nice little scale feature. Uh, we got a CS, uh, CMS, which is a chassis mounted servo, which is awesome. They've done away with the whole uh, mounting on the axle. And we have all steel suspension links, and then we have the, the uh, AR44 high pinion axle. Look at it, it says old slash new comparison. Pretty awesome on that. There's the wheels, of course, the KMC uh, wheels. Now, uh, these are not bead locks, they're actually just glued ones. I'm not really a fan of the glue thing, but hey, I guess it, you know, if Axel's doing it, it's, <laughs> it's for a reason. All right, so you saw the box. Now it's time to see the actual vehicle itself. So let's do that. So my friends, here it is. Pretty awesome, scaled out. It's got this CRC package, which is the front bumper right there. The fender uh, flares, as you see. Uh, also the front uh, rear bumper. And then we got the CRC side skirts that goes along with the, uh, the vehicle. It's also got six LED lights. You can see it right up in there, if the camera will focus. So we got uh, four up front, both these uh, of the uh, headlights work and along with the turn signals well they don't blink they just stay on and back here we got the uh, tail lights so yeah and then we got these pretty cool uh, sponsor stickers on there the KMC wheels Nitto CRC uh, looks like I can't actually pronounce that one you guys might <laughs> pronounce it uh, Fock Racing uh, Mother Gear Spicer BD a spot or something, uh, M uh, Magnum Flow, and then of course Axial Racing. Then we got the uh, CRC uh, hood on top of it, which looks pretty awesome. All right, 
And as you see, there's the new Nitto wheels. Pretty sweet, pretty beefy, aggressive tires as well. Look under right here, there's that new AR44 axles. If I can get the camera to focus just right, focus. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Very nice axles. I love this small compact design. A lot better than the original uh, SEX10 uh, uh, <laughs> axles there. Let me take it off the uh, little, my little work stand there, work spin station, if you can see that. <laughs> All right. So there. Get a better glimpse at it. Look underneath, there's the steel links right there. Same C-channel frame that we all come to love. Of course, it's the adjustable chassis on it. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and take the body shell off here and uh, take a closer look at all the goodies in here. All right, so, as you see, I already got my battery mounted in here. Uh, I actually redid the, uh, the battery tray instead of having the battery like long ways sitting down, they actually did it where it's uh, sitting kind of up. And this is a reason why they did this was kind of like a counterweight stuff, which I'll get into it uh, in that just a minute. I'll uh, back to the front again. I really love that no servo on the axle deal. I love this chassis mountain uh, servo, which is right up there. I really like the fact that it did that. That was awesome uh, thinking right there. It really makes the uh, the rig more scale performance or scale looking versus, you know, as you see here, <laughs> my old SCX-10 that's got the server mounted on the axle itself. And look at the axles. Look how big and bulky they are versus the new ones. A lot of clearance stability right there. So let's take a look over here at the electronics, the motor and all. Here is the, uh, the electronics, the ESC right there. Now these two little plugs right here are for the lights on the, uh, on the Jeep body there. We got the, uh, the new transmission here. We got the 35T turn motor right there. Got the wild bull, wild, wild bull <laughs> drive shafts, God, tongue tied. Uh, four link suspension on the, on the rear of it. And uh, also, I think on the front, and not as like a short, no, yeah, yeah, on the front as well. <laughs> All right, uh, took the vehicle over to the side, that way you can kind of get a better view of the undercarriage of it. Very nice, really like this, my friends. Uh, uh, one of the things I did notice, what Axial did, is that they done away with the uh, shocks being mounted on the uh, Axial itself, like on the original one where they were uh, like all mounted together they're all on their single own little uh thing <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can get a better view all right so uh focus 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 there you go says you know sees yeah <laughs> my uh, i'm getting tongue-tied here okay so as you see the suspension link you know on the old one both of the shock and the suspension link was put together, but here they actually did a separate design on that. So that's really nice. It's very easier to work on uh, versus, you know, the old SCX-10 over there. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. As you see, it's got these, uh, this really cool platform here, something that uh, was not on the original one. And if I can turn it over without flipping it over, over, so I can get a good view. All right, there we go. So focus camera. All right. So yeah, this nice little platform they did for the uh, for the electronics. This is also kind of like a counterweight ordeal. So they have the battery mounted like this right here, you know, for Chloe or stand, you know, kind of standing up, and they got electronics over here. And that way, it's kind of more a counterweight, uh, counterweight thing where, you know, it's not so easy for this vehicle to tip over. So, basically, the weight of the battery brings it down, and then the weight of the electronics on the side brings it back down. So, that's really awesome. Uh, another feature that Axial did with the vehicle is that they changed up the body post on it. Well, a more modern design 
but they did away with the whole car pin thing and went with these um, hex screws. So a little more time to take these off, but I think they did it for some odd reason and get my camera to focus, I guess to make it more sturdier um, or just to, just to do, do away with the car pin thing because it's kind of old school. <laughs> um, as far as like shocks wise goes, the shocks look like pretty much the same ones. They might be a little more taller. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, the one on my original SDX10 over here, as you see, these are things are old, like super, super old. <laughs> uh, so I'm not exactly sure on how tall these are. If you guys know, hey, comment down below and let me know uh, what uh, millimeters, if they're like uh, 80, 85, or 90, 95, let me know uh, what they are. Because I honestly don't know, and it doesn't really show it on the box. But uh, vehicle feels pretty firm. It feels pretty good. And uh, what else to talk about other than... You know, the, the cool little still links, which is awesome on that. I wish they were kind of like black to match the rest of the vehicle, but I guess that's just a, a cool little feature. Um, yeah, not much left to talk about. Other than that, it's just a really awesome uh, truck now. Uh, props, and like I said, props on, on Axial for des redesigning this thing and making it just a much better uh, vehicle than the uh, original one, which I'm not doubting the original one. The, the original SDX-10 was you know, pretty advanced back in the day, but as you know, there's always something that's gotta take place and come out better and bigger and <laughs> newer. Uh, so yeah, so that's it my friends. That is the Axial SDX-10 II Ultimate CRC, and uh, it's just a really awesome vehicle. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say, my friends, other than, uh, you know, go out and get you one. Awesome vehicle. A lot of different, a uh, lot of major upgrades on this vehicle. Uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, my friends, if you got any questions about this vehicle or any other questions on the channel about, you know, what maybe something you saw, hey, just comment down below. Let me know. And I'll be, you know, glad to answer them for you. Well, my friends, I'm going to call it quits. Get off of here and uh, rest up for a little bit. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the running of the new SCX-10 too, and see how well this little puppy performs and all. So, well, my friends, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all later.